Chris, you guys have been in a lot of these games, you know, come from behind, you had the chance there, I guess. You know, what did you see in that last at bat, um, that, or the home run there that uh, Nixon gave up? Any consideration of walking in there? We talked about it, but it just, you know, with one out, it's just a little tougher. I mean, Aaron wasn't pinpoint command tonight. That's why, you know, we kind of, you know, if it, and that's why they didn't steal right there. They, as soon as, if they would have stole, we would have walked them. Um, we just hoping you get, you know, you know, we just we just left the breaking ball up. We did it twice tonight on the breaking ball, and and he punished it. Um, he had thrown a couple really good ones there right before, and, and just you know, um, the guy was just hot. But yeah, I mean, looking back on it, I probably should have now, but we just did. You know, at that point, we walked him a couple times last night. But it's just it's hard to put the winning run in second base, you know, at that point, and um, hoping you can get him out. How tough is that too? Because the guys have been battling, making sure you didn't have a big inning against you, and. The guy just hit three balls out of the park. Yeah, sucks. That's about it. It just sucks. I mean, it's. Uh, I thought we did a pretty good job of pitching tonight. Besides a couple pitches to him. What did you see from the offense tonight against three lefties? Yeah, I mean they they've been pitching up underneath us. So uh, you know, us being able to try to get to some balls, probably have another lefty tomorrow. I would imagine. Um, we're we're gonna have to come out and battle. We, we gotta have a better offensive. Uh, I thought we'd be a little better offensive than I thought. It, you know, even in the first. You know, we have Slade hits a ball. Slade hit two really good balls that got caught tonight. Um, you know, just we got to be a little bit better tomorrow. Drangelo? Yeah. Tomorrow? I, mathematically, I don't think you are eliminated from the SEC tournament. I mean, you're going to have to have some help. But have you all talked about that? No, I'll be tonight? honest with you. That, that stuff's so complicated, I don't know what the hell we got to do. I, <laughs> I just know we, if we win, it's better, right? So I, I have a hard enough time coaching. So. Figuring that stuff out, I asked Travis to figure it out and look. And but right now, where we're at, it's you know, it's a lot easier when you say if you win, you got a better chance of making it. So we're just going to come out and try to win tomorrow. You had a couple of rallies there, you know, in the seventh, the eighth, where it was you know Ross and Mershon were kind of coming through. I guess you know, what's it been like watching you know their development as freshmen, especially you know in, in big spots going up with some big hits? You know, you know, this time of year they're not even freshmen anymore. You know, it's a, the freshman year's over and they're playing like upperclassmen and. Our future's bright with a lot of those. We've played a lot of young kids and probably taken our lumps a little bit at times, but um, some big swings in there today. You know, I thought both of them are they're competing. I thought Mershon made the play in the seventh, you know, in the hole was it was a really mature play to make. You mentioned his maturity there. I think there was one point, it might have been in the eighth, where he went and, and talked to Nixon himself to kind of slow him down. I guess just how have you seen him develop as a bit of a leader despite being a freshman? He, he has a lot of ball player in him. So he's had that since the day he walked on campus. He comes from a big baseball family and um, just just understands the game really well. Okay, three big swings from Lavalette tonight. I mean, what were you seeing from him uh, as a guy that, that faced him a couple of times? And what did you see from him tonight? I mean, he hits all mistakes. I feel like I left two pitches up in the zone and he just ran into both of them. I mean, he's a good hitter. He probably a potential first rounder in two years. It's just how, how tough was the you know the, the mood in the locker room after that? You guys have been battling. You had some of these come from, come from behind wins, had a chance today, and you know, that was slip away kind of late. I guess just what's kind of the message uh, around the team? Just kind of, I mean, keep fighting, stay in the fight. Um, even though we're down, we're not out. Just kind of living on that. How do you assess how you pitched tonight? You got five innings in there, and I mean, gave up the two run home run, the solo home run, but other than that, limited the damage. And what do you think of how you uh, faced them? I mean, I wouldn't say it was a great outing by any means, but I mean, it was, I'd get ahead and then I'd let them back in that count. You just can't do that. I mean, especially with a lineup like theirs on the SEC, just unacceptable. What have the last few weeks kind of been like, you know, for the pitching staff? I mean, probably worked with Lamonis a bit more than, than you guys were in the past. I guess what's it kind of been like yeah, having that transition here later in the season? I mean, it's been a little tough. I mean, you hate to lose your pitching coach. I mean, with four weeks left in the season, but I mean, it, I feel like Lum has stepped into that job and just kind of been around us and helped us get to where we need to be. And as a veteran on this team, you see David, some of the freshmen, David, some of the plays out there that they're making. This, what, what, do you, what do you see in them coming up? Uh, I mean, just like Dakota and Marshawn, like taking, I mean, and even Ross, I mean, stepping into those shoes and filling big roles. I mean, it's, Rashawn's had a great year. Dakota's had a great year. Even Ross. I mean, it's just those guys stepping in for us has been huge. It's a tough spot to be put in as a true freshman to, to catch, seeing some of the arms that Ross has. How have you seen him develop throughout the year um, since he's been here? I would definitely say, like, earlier this year he was a little shaky. But, I mean, later this season it's just like he improves every time he goes out there. That's all we can ask for. When you guys all say that the only thing you can do is keep 
fighting with one game left and you know that some of this is not uh, in your control with no other games being played, I guess, how do you handle that? I mean, we just see it like we're still in the fight. We come out, get a win tomorrow, and hope for the best. I mean, that's just, we got to do what we can and control what we can control.